Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, um, it's been a few weeks, uh, but I did say I was going to be busy in my last one, so it, uh, I have been busy. Uh, just sort of with the university course and everything, it's just been hectic. So I haven't really had much to show you anyway, because I haven't really had much time to do anything. But uh, I've got a wee bit done and I have a little bit of haul here as well. So I'll go over it. But uh, how are you all doing? Is everybody fine? Keeping well, I hope. Um, it is, well today it's Saturday the 13th of February. And it is really, really snowing here. This is the first day we have really had um, proper snow. Well, we had a few days, but nothing really, it was gone the next day. Um, but this started this morning, I would say probably about half eight. And I'm just looking out at it here and it's a good mm, two inches, would it be? Maybe a wee bit more. I'm sort of looking, um, if I can get a photograph, I'll take, I'll, I'll pop it in so well, but if I can figure that out. <laughs> but uh, no, it's... It really is snowing and I'm expecting a Sainsbury's delivery today, so, and it's not till way later on, <laughs> so I hope it's able to get through. I know it's really selfish of me, but we have nothing to eat. I think bread and butter, and that's about it. Tea bags, I suppose, and coffee, so that'll keep us going. But, uh, no, I hope you are all keeping well, and I know I've seen quite a few of you um, had pictures up too that the snow was really really bad all week with you so you know, I hope you all said safe um, but no it's uh, as I say it's been busy here but not so much on the craft side uh, just more the the course side of things so it's I um, well I'll update you later on the in the video on it but uh, Fiends are here, but you might notice I've changed or I'm going to change the name of the vlog from now on. So I'm not going to do floss tube because I don't think it's fair in a way. Well, I say fair. I am going to have cross stitch on it and will always have cross stitch, but I do do other things as well. And I've wee things that, that I have in my craft shop that I want to show you a bit of selfless self promotion or selfish self-promotion, whatever it would be. <laughs> but uh, it's just not always going to be cross-stitched. So I think to call the floss tube sort of wouldn't cover what I'm talking about properly. Uh, but there will always be cross-stitch in it. So there will, and it'll usually be the first thing I talk about. So, but uh, no, it's, as I say, just glad it's the weekend. I'm glad that I can finally maybe get a few things done that I've been well, not putting off, just that I can't get done during the week for because of other things. But uh, but no, so I'll start off. I've only been working on one thing, and that has been the modern modern folk embroidery, the twenty twenty one style. So I, uh, I still haven't January finished, but I thought that was a hair's a bit of the fabric. Um, I'm nearly there and I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping to get done this weekend. Uh, for I have, I have February's all printed out and ready to go. And I, I've seen people have this finished already. It was like out in the first and I've seen people on the second with it all done. I'm like, how can you do that? What does I say? The 13th and I haven't even January done, so that really says it all. But uh, no, this is how I am getting on. It's not ironed or anything, so please excuse, excuse that. Look, I don't iron at the best of times. I iron when I have to iron, which this weekend is going to be an ironing weekend. And I sort of don't mind too much because of the weather, but... I iron when I have to, so don't be expecting my pieces to be pristine whenever I'm showing them. At the end they will be, but just not during it. So that's how far I've got so far. 
we can all see that well. So I'm on the bird. I've just a little bit to finish on it and then the motifs that go around him or her. And uh, that will be January done. So as I say, I'm hoping to have that done today, tomorrow at the latest. Uh, but I love, I have to say, I love the colours. <laughs> Purple is my favourite colour. So um, I'm glad I did go with it. I had thought that the lighter colour could have been a bit lighter, but I think the more I get done of it, the more I'm glad it's not, it's not too light. So it's, uh, I'm glad how it's coming on. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, but I just would like a little bit more time in getting, getting it to work on it. But that's that. So that was quick, my whips. Uh, as I say, I haven't worked on anything else. I hope this lighting, I can just see every time I move it changes light. I hope that's not annoying too much. Um, I think it's just because it is so bright outside and I do have the blinds sort of closed a bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much. Um, but no, as I say, other than that, that is all I've had a chance to even look at. Um, so I have had a bit of haul come in. Uh, I sort of have been waiting on that too because other than that I was going to have absolutely nothing to show you and this would have been the end of the film where we had seven minutes and that would have been the end of the, the video. So I've waited and uh, it's, I don't think I'm waiting on anything else. I think everything has come as far as I know. See at the minute, there's so much I just have ordered. Not that I've, I'm just ordering things and I don't even know I need to go over what my purchases on eBay and Etsy and just see what has come and what hasn't because I've been buying stuff for the house as well and sort of keeping track of it all but I, do, I think I have everything. I don't think there was anything more that I had ordered. So the other, the first thing was the February of Jacob's, uh, what is it? The Fruit of Plenty it's called. You think I'd know that by now. So that was the February one, which is this bit here it's going to be. So that was one of my purchases. I've just decided I didn't buy it all in one go because I thought if something like this happens and I'm way, way behind and I end up, I have stacks of these being sent through, um, sitting waiting to be printed and then I just feel bad and I end up giving up on it. So I just thought as um, I'm needing going on to the next month then I'll just buy it and go on from there and at least then I don't feel bad but uh, no so that was that was sort of my, one of my purchases there now I have I have a few more I'll actually uh, this is my big cotton table and table I do so I have everything sitting here in front of me. Um, I just ordered, now these are from Deb's Cross Stitch. I, yes these are off Etsy so I'll put a link um, down below for it but it is, it's just black. DMC 310, 310 uh, skeins. Now this is for something um, I'm planning on doing so of it. I wonder actually should I just I'll show you these and then I'll show you what I'm doing with them. That maybe be a bit easier. Oh I might actually I'll take these out of the plastic. If I can get it out of the plastic. There we go. Right, so I ordered this. These are uh patterns off eBay. Um I let me see if I can figure out how these they are out of the world of cross stitching magazine now I've got two different ones here but I think in total yeah that's only showing three sorry I'm looking down I have looked at this believe me I have looked at it but I think there's 
four different pictures. One, two, four. So what's not showing on that? The owl isn't showing on that. That's why I'm getting confused in my old age. Right. Let me see if I can show this to you. This is from... Hmm, it doesn't actually say which, um, which one this is from, but if I can get my hands around this. That's them there. I'm hoping you're seeing that. Hope you've seen that. So they're we uh black black work ones um and I just I did I really like them. I'm not so sure about the house the owl. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I can show you the owl without showing you. I like him too. So he's there too. So I was thinking of doing. I'm not so sure in the house. I'm sort of in and out, but uh. So I like the witch, the pumpkin and the owl and I was thinking of doing it in three, one beside each other, whichever way. So I did, I like them, thought that's right, that's what I'll do. I haven't put this back in the right order so when I come to it I'm going to be absolutely more confused. No I did. Anyway, um, <laughs> welcome to living with me. <laughs> so I wanted something because it's Halloweenish, um, it's black work that I'm going to be doing it in. So I wanted nice fabric. I have never tried dyeing. I do have a couple of dyes here, but um, I do have fabric that is I'm not using for anything. So like I could try, but I just with everything else, I just don't have the time at the minute. So I thought, right, I'll have a wee look and see what I can. Now, purple. As I said, it's my favorite color. So I look for purple ones. But whenever actually I looked at the the size they were coming out, any purple fabric that I was seeing, uh, that just wasn't that size. They were, you know, maybe fitted two on them, but I do, I want three on, at least three on it anyway. So I looked on Etsy and I got this fabric from, well, she's known as Pulp Stitching. But on Etsy, she is Pulp Stitching Aberdeen. Kaylee, if I mind right. Um, so I got this fabric from her. Uh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So I do. Uh, it just reminds me of Unicorn. So please don't hold this against me. But I do love this. And I think with the black on it, it's going to look magnificent well I say that anyway but that is it there I'm hoping that you can see that I'll hold it up a bit that way but it is like um there's different shades of purple pink like a turquoise green and then through it is white dots which sort of look like stars it's called cotton candy sky so that's it there. I think it with the black is going to look. Where did I put that? I haven't even opened these yet. I just. I think it will look really well. I just wanted something that would contrast. Contrast with it. So yeah, like that's. That's black, black. So I'll be using two strands. On it. Did I say that was 16 count? Can't mind, but no, it's 16 count if I didn't. So that's what I will be doing with those Halloween ones. So, as I say, I'll do the witch and the pumpkins, and I'm definitely doing the owl. So, that will be a project to start. Um, I know I definitely have room for those three. I'm not sure if I'm going to have room for the four, but if I do work out that I have room for the four, I might just do the four. But because um, I know the fabric is definitely deeper than I need it to be, but not sure about the width. So I say that come and that was it was really quick delivery. So it was and 
Kelly was very, very good, so she, so she was. Um, I'll definitely be having a look at a bit more in her shop. Uh, I also got, and let's see, I'll just pop this away so I keep myself right. I feel like I'm looking down an awful lot. I thought of myself sorted, but I don't, don't really, it appears. Right, so that was that and that. And that needs to go with that. This is so everything below can be actually correct and not, I'm not linking you to some weird website somewhere. But I got this one off, it's another Halloween one. Of Halloween. Well, I don't actually, Christmas is my favorite. But I like the Halloween charts that you get. I just, they're brilliant. And to be honest, it's probably something I would keep up all year round anyway. God, I look really through all there, don't I? I do try, but that's about as far as it goes. Trying. But anyway, back to the cross stitch. Uh, I love this one. Again, this one is from Cross Stitcher magazine and it's October 2019. Uh, I have a feeling that I seen this on Mama Loves You GB, Michelle's floss tube. I'm nearly 99% sure that it was Michelle that I seen it on uh, and I loved it. The only thing, there's one wee thing I don't, I'm not 100% on but I could maybe get around it. Uh, but it is called Happy Haunting and it is that one. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And I do like the colour that they have put it on. So I might, um, might give tea or coffee stain on a go. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, 14 count this asks for and the piece of fabric that I have spare is 14 count. So, but I have been stitching 16 recently and I've liked that too. Actually, I've come nearly, I think, to be fair, 16. Um, I'm sort of working my way slowly up the numbers. <laughs> but, uh, no, I do. I, I love that. I have to admit, the only thing I'm not sure of, and I think Michelle was the same, was this oil. I'm not 100% taken on it. But I don't know if I could get away. I don't know if I could get away with maybe get putting a cat here or maybe another... I love some shit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm that brave to even try that out. But uh, it says on it, when black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam, may luck be yours on Halloween. So I do really like that. So as I say, 14 count Ada. And I think it says how long. There was actually one there in the back and it says how long it should sort of take you. But oh, there it is there. Uh, no, doesn't. Oh, sorry, 42 hours. So that'll probably mean this, not this Halloween, but next I might have it done for. But absolutely, I love that. As I say, I love Halloween charts. Not a big Halloween fan, but I love Halloween charts. And as it would be something all year round that would be up. So at that. And say I might try tea staining or coffee staining with that one. And I could let you see how that disaster turns out. <laughs> well, it'll either turn out really bad or really good. And either way, one, one will be used and the other one will not be used. It'll be put in a cupboard somewhere. But uh, now that is the end of my haul for cross stitch anyway. So I'd like to think... I do have the Caterpillar cross stitch stitch along started yet but I'm planning on starting it I really really hope so I really wanted to get that and I don't want to fall behind because it's not it's not massive each month which sort of like if you sit down for a good couple of nights you would have it done but as I say just just that hasn't happened but I do have an idea for a video of for somebody that's maybe starting out cross stitch 
completely completely new to it uh, is trying to maybe do a couple of wee videos of how to start your cross stitches off so I might use it till to start because you're starting from the centre in it so I think if you're completely new to cross stitch starting from the centre is the easiest the easiest way to go you're not having to start measuring out in corners and stuff so I'm thinking of doing those those sort of videos so if there's anything you want to see leave it in comments below and definitely I'll give it a go and try and get something up for you um so now as I say that is all for the cross stitch this week so that's 20 minutes and I didn't do too bad I thought I would have been through it in five but there you go uh so now then I've only one other haul item and it's actually for clothes or for hand sewing or dressmaking that's what I'm trying the word I'm looking uh so as you know I have a couple of items on the go that I'm trying to sew I do have actually another video idea that I'm doing um I have the belly jumper from Tilly and the Buttons um and I am thinking of doing a video of like a stitch along with that or showing you how I do it probably won't be anything the way Tilly wants it done but It'll be the way I'll be doing it. Um, but I will know I'll use it. I'll be using her instructions, but that doesn't mean it's going to be right. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking of that as another video. So if you're interested in um, dressmaking and sewing your own clothes and stuff, that might be something that you might be interested in, in keeping a wee eye out for. But uh, no, my last piece of haul, um, I seen these on her Instagram she had like done a hack for them and I thought I had it actually saved on my eBay watch list has a long long time and uh, it's the trousers I'm actually looking out of it but I realised oh, I'll just show you it's Mimi G and it's her 9114 simplicity pattern so as I say I bought it for the trousers I think they are lovely and they're a lovely length nice around the waist so I'm thinking of doing them at some stage now she had a hack where she had a long or I think she made them maybe slightly shorter but they had a large turn up and whatnot on them so they were gorgeous and they were like in a I think like a brown brown plaids that doesn't sound but it, it, they were gorgeous definitely if you're until dressmaking Check out Mimi G if you don't already follow her for absolutely stunning the stuff that she makes. And then, now, she has a, made like a jacket there, but that's actually a dress. I didn't realise. Oh, that's been blown out here. Oh, I'm sorry about the light, but it's just, it's still snowing, so have I. But, uh, no, I, I sort of thought it was a jacket. I didn't. Oh, as I say, it was the trousers I was more interested in, so I wasn't really taking much notice. But that's actually a dress. And it's quite nice. So that might have to be made as well. I like the wee top, but it's a bit short on me, a bit cropped it would be. And lockdown has not been kind to my waist. So I don't think we'll be doing that one. Not unless we can hack it to be about a foot longer than what it already is. But... Um, no, I'll, I'm going to be trying that at some stage I'm going to be trying that again I got this off eBay and the girl I got it off I didn't bring the thing in it comes so quick and she's her own website as well so I'm going to be checking her but again I'll put it in the comments below if you're you're interested in, in that sort of thing but that is all all my haul uh for this week but as i said i don't have anything else no i don't have anything else um but no as i said i've been busy with my course my university course um it's irish archaeology so this incoming week finishes this term so this incoming week we have our 1500 word essay that needs to be in it doesn't sound a lot until you start writing 
and then you realize that you're writing absolute crap and you have to start again and you try to fill it out with pictures <laughs> it's like being back at high school <laughs> how big can i make these pictures a size 24 font with double space and acceptable <laughs> because that is what goes through my head when I'm writing it. So the topics got uh, given to us yesterday. Uh, again, I looked at them and I, my, just my brain just went, and I don't know. So I think I picked the last one is to do with Galway Town. Um, it's actually the last unit, so the unit we had to have in for this week. We done a whole thing in Galway. So it's fresh, it's in my mind. Um, the other ones, I would have to do a serious amount of writing on. And I, I have to say, I just don't. I just can't this week. So with Galway fresh in my mind, and I have so many archaeological magazines upstairs. Irish, I think it's uh, Irish Archaeology magazine. It's a, is it a month? No, it's a quarterly. It's a quarterly. It comes out spring, summer, autumn, winter. Um, so there's bound to be something... In it so I'll go through all them and I have different journals and stuff as well uh, so I've all that to try and read this week and get the essay in next Sunday so what would that be the 21st yes the 21st so that's gonna be fun this week uh, and then after that it just as it goes on so the next term you can't it's not open yet so you can't actually see what what's coming up you just see like the title of it but what i have seen is project so something tells me it's maybe not weekly based anymore and we're going to have to do the next term is going to be a full project so we'll see what that is <laughs> I'm going grey. I, I am grey. It's not even I'm going grey. I am grey. I will be white at this stage. But then that's it. That's it. That's it. So with that to work through over the next, next few weeks. So I'll keep you updated on that. But that is really all that has been happening with me. I am... Um, nothing else to show you so I think I'm going to do some shameless plugging of my craft store. Um, it has been busy, it really has. I have got some gorgeous stuff in so especially with Mother Day, Mother's Day coming. So I think it's the 14th of March. I think I would know this but I think it's the 14th of March. So I have lovely ribbons in for it. I have got I've started to get a good amount of trim in. Nice. I'm actually I'm sitting here looking at it. That's sort of why. But um a sweet pom pom thing. Um but no, I'll I'll just show you and then um I have my blanket around me. I'm in this room and no matter how long the heating is on in this room, it is freezing. I don't know why. Can't figure it out. The radiator is like there. I can't feel heat. So I, my blanket, it goes everywhere with me. But one wee second, and then we'll get some of these things. Um, I also have variegated uh, DMC in. So it's the colorist, I'll show you this one. This is color 4512. Oh. So 4512, so that is the way they are. That is an 8 meter skein. I have it in 23 different colours. 22. 22 or 23 different colours they come in. Um, it is from 4500 through 4523. I think the only colour I don't have is 4505 for the right of stock of it. But um, 
that is beautiful. There is, um, well, you have the six threads in it, and of that, four of them are different colours. Uh, and then for each, where it's variegates in each one, I think it's five centimetres per colour change on it. So they are beautiful. There are some of the colours there. Hold on, I just there are some of the colours, and they are absolutely stunning. See what's this one? Oh, look at that. It's not actually showing up as bright, it would be slightly brighter than that. They are, they are beautiful. So, as I say, and they're DMC, so you know the quality of them, they are, they are brilliant. Um. Yes, the ribbons. So I have this beautiful ribbon. It is inch wide, 25 mil wide, and it's beautiful satin. It's one sided with those floral, like a floral posy on it. There's that, there's one, and it's similar to that there, but it's, um, is it 16 mil wide? Uh, and it would be similar, it's, it's very similar to that, just it's a slightly narrower. And then I have these three, which they're all the same, just, well, they're the same pattern, three different colours in the pattern. So you have the pink, and it just seems to be like uh, rose petals and little leaves on them. So you have it in the pink. Each one of them at the back, the back is pink on it as well. That, and then you have the black, which is gorgeous. As I say again, the back of it is pink. It's a contrast to white. You've always, everything always has a white back in, but that's nice, it's pink. So that's the black. And then you have the green. I think it's beautiful too, especially with the pink back and on it. It, it, it sort of, it's, it's lovely. So you have that, set them to the side. Then I got hoops in. Uh, these are just straightforward little bamboo hoops, uh, six, seven and eight inches. So just regular little hoops. They're good. They're trimmets, those ones too. So they're, it's a good brand. Now I have so much trim now. These are all on. Oh. I need to show you these two. Stuff everywhere. Pom poms for your hats. And they are so soft. So, so soft. And they tie in your hat. So it means if you want to um, wash your hat, because you know the way your hat gets dirty hair smell. That you just take those off. I suppose if you wanted you probably could stitch them in but why when you can tie them and it's just so easy. Blink and they're out of your hat and you can throw the hat in the wash. Now I think you can you can like dab wash these but not really recommended but you would you take the, the fluff the fluff off them. And you have them, that's like the mink, I think, is that? Yep, yeah, mink. And then you have the pink. It's actually more of a dust. That would probably be near the, the right colour there for them. And then black. They are, they're gorgeous and they're so soft. You, you don't even feel them. They're so soft. Uh, as I say, they're all in the shop now. And there's other bits and bobs. That have come in. Um, just see again. It's telling me I need to rev my phone out. Uh, I do have pom pom trim in, so that I think it is ten mil. Doesn't say on it, but I think that these are all ten mil. So there's yellow, white, black, pink, pink, 
Um, there is a class green as well. It's like a lime. So these are all sold by the meter. Brick rack. Black and green. Oh, where do you see this? And pink and blue. Aren't they lovely? Like that. So they're still to go up because this, this, the room here I take these photographs in at the sunshine, it comes straight on and I can't get photographs took. Woe was me, but anyway. But that's everything. So if you see anything of interest there, you can pop over to the shop. I'll have the link in all below. But I think that's me for this week. Um, I hope to be back. I'm going to say next week. I really do hope I'm back next week. And I'm going to try and get all the wee tiny videos and stuff done as well. In between. Um, if time lets me. <laughs> but until next week. Thanks for watching and I really hope that you all keep well this incoming week and stay safe if there's snow in your area. Um, but yours just an excuse to stay on and stitch or crochet or knit or whatever it is you're up to. So have a nice week and I'll see you next time. Bye!